get by It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See life's like a beach If you find the sand And right now I feel like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Einstein Bagels, RX Bars, Atari, many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. You know, what I love uh, saying about the stories is it's interesting to hear the story of Noah Alper, who created and sold his chain of bagel stores to Einstein's for over $100 million. But what I really love is, and what we don't realize is before that, he was selling religious tchotchkes out of his trunk that did horribly, did not do well at all, and was a horrible business. And he had several failures before he created Noah's Bagels, which he sold. So I love to hear some of the background of that. Um, and we'll, we'll, I'm going to introduce you to the guest in a second. Um, the episode today is brought to you by Rise25, which I co-founded with my business partner, John Corcoran. And Rise25's mission is to connect you with your best referral partners and customers. Um, we do that in three ways. One, we have a done-for-you media and content marketing. Um, so basically, we our company will completely run and launch your own podcast, distribute it across 11 different channels, do a dedicated blog post, social media. It's a complete content marketing strategy. Um, you basically simply show up and talk. We do everything else. Um, you know, our team has been working with podcasters since 2009. I personally credit podcasting as the single best thing I've done for my business and my life. Besides meeting all those founders I mentioned in the beginning, I've made best friends, found my business partner, and it's obviously led to a lot of relationships with countless customers and referral partners. Um, so if you are not doing a podcast, you should definitely consider doing one. Um, the second thing we have a done for you lead generation where we basically manual, manually send out a consistent flow of customized outreach messages. And this is not uh, paid traffic, by the way. And we'll find out some amazing traffic sources and what uh, Sam does, actually, um, because they're not your typical uh, paid Facebook ads. Uh, we also have a done for you VIP event where we will partner with software companies and conferences and bring their highest level customers in a room to network. Um, I have to mention this Sticker Mule um, is a sponsor, but they, I only have them sponsored because they have this, this amazing deal. First of all, they have a great company, it's one of the easiest and fastest ways to buy custom printed products. Um, you can basically upload your image. In 60 seconds, you can turn into custom stickers, magnets, buttons. They work with Amazon, Nike, Google. And say, you maybe like this. They gave me this deal and they said, if it goes viral, they're going to shut it off. So it's not going to be available. But they said um, 10 custom stickers for $1. Um, and that pro this doesn't even cover shipping. Um, so if you go to stickermule.com slash inspired, then you can get 10 custom stickers for your company, put them on your laptop or whatever uh, for $1, uh, stickermule.com slash inspired. They do it probably because they know you're going to order a bunch more once you get yeah, hooked. Exactly. But um, <laughs> today's guest, um, I had the pleasure. He was so nice and he, uh, we were at Brian Kurtz's Mastermind and he drove me to the airport and we had um, an amazing discussion about marketing, direct response marketing, um, all of the offline channels that... Um, he is a, you know, an expert at, and um, so I'm appreciative for that, and he's going to shed some wisdom on all these topics today. San Sarkar is a serial entrepreneur. He's a founder of the health supplement brand Invigorate Now Health Sciences. He's also the creator of Sark Media Direct, and what they do there is it's a direct marketing consultancy that specializes in helping entrepreneurs grow to seven figures and beyond in the health and e-commerce space, and also they also help consulting agencies as well. Um, he helps combine the cutting edge online marketing strategies, but with the traditional direct response marketing. And he's helped his clients scale to eight figures and beyond. He's worked with some of the biggest names in the industry, including Martha Stewart, Organifi, Zenith Labs, and many more. And he has a knack. I'm in the car ride and we talked. I'm like, we have to get on the line and you have to, you know, share your wisdom because when you look online, there's nothing. Like he just is in the trenches. He has his nose down and he's doing it. So he's not out there really teaching it um, or talking about it. So I, I had to nab him and I want to thank Esther Kiss also for making sure we reconnected and, and got this done. Uh, but he has a knack for finding the low hanging fruit in his clients' businesses with 
um, newspapers, newspaper ads. Um, have you heard of newspapers? People actually still do <laughs> read them um, and they still do work. Uh, radio ads, affiliate marketing and direct mail. And, um, you know, in particular, you helped a small division of a company grow from 27, you know, to $27 million in just two years. And now it's doing over $55 million. And we throw these big numbers around, but, you know, he's, he's really doesn't talk about it that much, you know. So I'm excited to talk. You know, there is a page that I studied that he put out that you have to go to because there's so much wisdom in it. If you go to sarkmediadirect.com slash the number eight dash figures, um, that will give you, he's actually, um, it's, you know, hidden, probably no one, not many people know about it, but it is golden. And he talks about the six steps that basically scaled an e-com business from 25000 to $1.4 million per month. So, Sam, that was a long way of saying thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. <laughs> thank you, man. Awesome to be here. Uh, yeah, and it's, it's been great meeting you and chatting with you. So looking forward to uh, talking more today. Sam, so, you know, I always ask because it's Inspired Insider um, about the challenges, low points, tough times, and then on the flip side, some of the proud moments. What's been like a low point or tough time that you had to push through? Um. I think that uh, the one I mentioned in the beginning was one of the biggest ones. Like I, I had dreamed about having my business successful for so long, and and, and that first year, I, I must have worked. In, I, I had a full time job then too. I was working a full time job. I was coming home late at night. Um, I was trying so so hard to make it work, and I made nothing. Right? I, I told you, you know, like I, I I had an SBA loan. I a twenty thousand dollar loan. I had like my other savings sunk into it. And I made no money for one full year. Like, why didn't you quit? You know why? Um, because I read books that made me realize that like I could do it. Um, mm. And I think that's a, a, another concept, like you know, self development and continually making yourself better to make sure you can succeed. Because these challenges will come and if your mind isn't on point you're screwed you're going to give up and you're going to fail um but like one book which i always talk about i mean everyone's read it but uh think and grow rich by napoleon hill um that book uh psycho cybernetics by maxwell maltz all these books which were so vital to my to my inner belief and and my self-confidence right that's what pushed me through you know Mm. it wasn't it wasn't new strategies or tactics it was my mindset that told me you know what? I can do it. I have to just keep pushing through and not giving up. Um, yeah, yeah. So even that year, full time job, you pour in twenty or thirty thousand dollars. You make one sale for forty five dollars. It was those that mindset, training your mindset to think it's not an if, it's a when type exactly. of situation. Exactly. Yep. Was there anything else that helped? Because books help, but I don't know. You know, there's only so much you can lean on in a book. Is there something well, that you, like, other people or, or something else that you leaned on? Um, you, you know, at the time, there wasn't really, it wasn't people because, you know, I, I mean, it's, it's people now. So these days, like, I mean, there's still challenges in my business. So now it's people because I've learned that. Back then, I was, like, trying to do it all myself. And it was just so, just so horrible. But one thing that helped me was um, I also, so that, that previous year, that's when I lost all that weight, right? And like, I would say, at least maybe not right now, but back in that time, that was my biggest like life challenge. Like I'd struggle with my weight my entire life. Mm. So to to realize that, holy crap, like I can do this. I just lost 75 freaking pounds like after trying for 15 years, right? Um, I think that also, you know, kind of put It gave you confidence. Yeah, this like unwavering sense of belief that I can do things. Mm. You know? Yeah, so someone could take just some unwavering sense of belief in one aspect and then translate it to another portion. Um, what turned the corner for you with the weight loss after you had been trying for so long? Besides no, uh, your supplement, and they should go buy 10 bottles of it. No, I'm just oh, kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it was, uh, well, it was two things. One was, uh, you know, Tim Ferriss's book, The Four Hour Body. Sure. Uh, that helped, or not, not for about a four hour work week where we had like, Actually, it might have been a four-hour body, whatever. It was like some blog post that would talk about his slow-carb diet. So I followed a slow-carb diet, 
and like that's that was the first time I, mm. like, I lost like 10 pounds in two mm. weeks i was like holy crap like this has never happened in my life right so i kept following that diet and i kept working out and taking supplements and doing this stuff for a long time and um obviously i, I had challenges here and there like i got off slow carb i tried all the stuff um but that was the first thing that kind of kicked things off and got me mm-hmm. going um, and after that, it was like, look, if I can lose 10 pounds in two weeks after trying for, for 15 years, I can keep at this and succeed. Um, so, yeah, just kept pushing it through. So is a slow carb like a intermittent fasting or is it more like a paleo type of? Yeah, it, it's more paleo. So basically it's yeah. like uh, it's like you eat like your only carbs are beans and vegetables. Yeah. Um, and then you eat like, you know, chicken and Got like, it. beef and so stuff. So it's cutting out all the dairy and white yeah, sugar, it, white flour type of... Exactly, yeah, yeah. Bad carbs. Exactly. Gotcha. So it, it, it's basically low carb with your carb as being beans and veggies. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever think about just giving up at any point during that time? Yeah, yeah I I did. Um, you know, there was another time, which was after that. So, so this is when the business was doing well, or, or started doing well, right? So we had like, we had some big affiliates promoting us, and like, you know, we're make, making like eight thousand dollars in a day, just like just like killing it in terms of sales. But I had no systems in place, right? Mm. So I come back from my day job. I'm working all night long. It's like five a.m. and I and and I'm packaging up bottles, putting them into the package, driving to the post office. There's no one in the streets. No one's awake. No one's around. It's just me, and I'm like, this sucks. Like, I have a business, but I have no life. I have no control over anything. I like, I have to go to work in two hours. Like, this sucks. Like, you know. Um, right. So again, yeah, it was that. I just like, I felt so bad for myself. And the reality is, like, I didn't take the time um, to put the systems in place to yeah. scale. You know. Yeah. So. Yeah, we were talking before we started <laughs> recording. Is now you know you're going to india morocco spain all these places i'm like yeah. i need to be you know people say be like mike i might be like sam you know <laughs> um at what point do you decide to quit the job uh it's about four years in mm. so took took some time yeah um but but it was nice so it was by that time i, I really had like system actually no, it was, it was five years so i worked for, I basically worked for five years in finance um and then, uh, yeah, so, and I left and I've been, been doing my stuff full time. Although I, I've had some clients, like, like one was Martha, who I I spent 40 hours a week on, on just on her stuff. So, like, it was almost a full time job in and of itself. Um, but, yeah, so, I mean, there was a lot of, still a lot of work involved. So, like, yeah, I wasn't working a full time job in the last few years, but I was, I was basically. You have a lot of balls <laughs> that you're juggling. Yeah. 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 Um, and you said a key thing about systems. You had to put systems in place. What are some key systems that you put in place that have been so important? And it could be a software. It could be something else. Yeah, so um, I'd say the biggest thing is really just connect. Yeah, so connecting. We have UltraCart. We have ClickFunnels. We have all the different s- softwares. We have them connected with uh, Veracore and, and other 3PL systems to basically transmit orders directly to fulfillment and having the warehouse handle everything. Because before, like, I mean, I was, I, I just didn't know what I was doing. Like, I, I had bottles that were in my garage and stuff. Like, I just like, I, I was doing it with no really, no, no process in place. But then I, when I moved, to having warehouses in place and really having everything super automated, having everything done by somebody else, and then having my customer service teams that I hire internally to do email and telephone and all these things, like everything is handled, right? So right. like. I'm not doing 95 things. I'm doing like four things really well, yeah. you know? So. Um, I know you have another call now. So <laughs> everyone should check out sarkmediadirect.com slash eight dash figures. It, it shares some of these concepts. And um, San, I just want to thank you. This was fantastic. Thank you, man. Great yeah. talking to you. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side See lights like a beach if you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand